tens of millions of Takata airbag inflators haven't been repaired and could be in vehicles still on the road. Today, lawmakers got an update on the largest auto part recall in U.S. history. Our team in 10 investigator Adam Rakuzin watched that hearing today. And Adam, in the crowd was a father whose daughter was life was taken by one of these exploding airbags. Yeah, Alexander Bringman, who you see right there, his presence was definitely felt in that room. He didn't get a chance to speak, but was acknowledged by U.S. senators and an automaker. Talking about the pace of the recall efforts, one senator said, overall, these recall completion rates are disappointing, unacceptable, and remain a great cause for concern. Unfortunately, NHTSA seems to be playing a game of regulatory whack-a-mole and twiddling its thumbs. Today, U.S. Senators had tough words for the governmental agency heading up the Takata airbag recall effort. Plagued by delays. They are deadly delays. Years in, and tens of millions of affected airbags still haven't been fixed. The deputy administrator of the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration saying there's been progress, but overall completion rates are not where they want them to be. That didn't sit well with some lawmakers. Still on the road, still causing death. Alexander Brangman knows the danger better than most. His daughter, Jewel, was killed by an exploding Takata airbag. In a February interview with Team 10, Brangman said he's turned his pain into action. I don't want any other family, any other family to even have to think about remotely going through that. So please be aware of the seriousness of this issue. Today, Brangman was in the audience. He posted this video to Twitter just before the hearing began. I'm here to look for justice. I want to recognize Mr. Alexander Brangman. Lawmakers, even the executive vice president of Honda North America, took notice and acknowledged his fight. And I think his presence here today is a stark reminder of the human cost of these defective airbags. And I want to acknowledge and apologize to Mr. Brangman and others who have suffered from these tragic circumstances. And one of the things that kept coming up is the challenge of making sure everyone is aware that they have one of these airbags in their vehicle. So here's one place that you can check. It's on NHTSA's website. The web address is right there on your screen. You can go ahead and just type in your vehicle's information number right there. Hit enter and it'll bring up if you have any recalls, including anything for a Takata airbag. Adam Rakusen, Team 10. Important.